What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing a fairly simple install on the A6 uh, and it's something that's been bugging me for a little while now. For all intents and purposes the A6 is visually pretty much done. Um, we've got a splitter coming for it very soon from Max and Designs. That's just going to finish off the front end I suppose and along with the side skirts we're going to get them done as well. The rear end I kind of like. The S-Line special edition sort of rear end I kind of like either way so I've got no issues with that as it stands but the front end there is one issue and that's the fog light surrounds now the fog light surrounds that are on the vehicle as standard are sort of an untreated plastic which would have matched the original grill problem being is that we've now upgraded the grill to that honeycomb mesh sort of gloss black thing so what we're going to be doing is removing the original fog light surrounds uh, after that we're going to be sanding them down priming them painting them and then putting them back on in a gloss black to match that honeycomb grill. So let's get it done. Okay, so, so to start off, of course, we're gonna to need to remove the surround. What you're gonna to wanna to do is not pull this outwards toward you. You need to sort of pull it forwards towards the front of the car because as I'll show you in a minute, the clips are angled. There we have it clips straight out that's those clips that I was talking about as you can see they're sort of at an angle towards the direction of the car rather than straight with the piece of the trim as you can see if you was to pull them like this it would have literally just snapped the clips clean off so you do need to pull them towards the front of the car I can guarantee this isn't a cheap part over you know what Audi's like with their pricing okay so this is what we're dealing with right now you've got your unpainted plastic here there's like a ring here this was originally chrome but i've wrapped it glass black we literally just push the tabs out here so we can remove the ring then what we're going to do is we're going to sand down the entire face of this then get it painted glass black then we're going to hit it with some primer plastic primer from there we're going to hit it with some glass black base coat and then hit it with a clear coat and see how nice we can get it looking let's go and have a look at the supplies that we need okay so these are the things that you're going to want to get to actually take on the project First things first, spray bottle, soap and water, literally just washing up liquid and water. Uh, I'll use that for the wet sanding, but I'll, I'll get onto that later. Uh, next thing, panel prep. I'll use this just before I start painting in between each step. So spray it on and wipe it down before I do the primer, again before I do the base coat and again before I do the clear. Good stuff. I'm gonna need plastic primer. Make sure it is plastic primer. I've used other primers before and it does sort of chip off eventually. You may also want to use an adhesion promoter as well, but I've gotten away with it this far. Uh, I've never actually had to use an adhesion promoter, but you could use that, of course. Base coat. Try and keep the brands the same, by the way, guys. They usually react the best way together. Again, base coat, gloss black, and then a clear lacquer for the top. The lacquer is kind of optional, really. It's probably a little bit extra just for some black trim, but... We want to go for the best finish possible and then you want to get wet and dry sandpaper this is literally 50 sheets uh, of just all different grit from coarse to fine literally 51 pieces in there is up five quid off amazon absolute bargain but um you don't need anything fancy again it's just a piece of trim as long as we're cleaning it all really well in between each time we change the sandpaper there should be no grit left behind or anything like that that's really the only difference between shit sandpaper and good sandpaper is the shitty stuff usually falls apart while you're using it. And that's literally all we need. One thing that I will throw in there is I'm going to use this uh, ceramic sealant spray uh, at the end. That's literally just because this paint isn't really automotive grade. It's not, you know, applied in a professional environment. So you want to, you're going to want to give it the best chance you can of not fading. So I suggest putting some sort of sealant on there, whether you've got this or a decent wax. It will all do the same job. First thing we've got to do, we have to pop the bezel out of the fog lights around. Uh, then we're gonna have to spray it down with some soapy water, which is literally just wash up liquid and water. Scrub it with a detailing brush to get it nice and clean. And then we'll start the sanding process. Don't worry, I'm not gonna make you watch me do this. We'll pop back when we're ready to sand. Okay, so next step, now that they're all clean, we're gonna start with the sanding. We're gonna hit it with 400 first, then 800, then 1200. That should smooth out some of this roughness that you can see here. And should give us a decent finish. Again, we're not looking for a mirror finish, but something a lot glossier than this will be great. And again, I'm not going to make you sit through me sanding for the next 25 minutes, so I'll just give you an update between each stage of the sanding process. Okay, so that's the 400 grit done. I'm still going to hit it with the 800 grit and the 1200 grit anyway, just to give it a better chance at looking halfway decent, but 
it's knocked off all of the weird sort of sheen that the plastic had to it over sort of years of being on the car along with any product and sealant that I had on there so yeah let's crack on with the rest of the sanding so we've just got done with the 1200 grit as I said it's a bit of a messy process and a lot of these nooks and crannies are really hard to get into with the sandpaper so you've got to sort of jam it in there with your finger that's what she said as I said it's a proper messy process but the messy part's done, now it's onto the painting. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit this with the panel prep, get it all cleaned and ready to go, and then we're gonna get some primer on there. Okay, that's the first of three coats. We're gonna be doing Three coats around 15 minutes apart. Quick tip, between each coat, turn the can upside down and blast it until you don't see any more paint. That'll clean out the tip so it doesn't spatter when you uh, come back to painting again. All right, so final step, we're doing the clear coat. We're gonna do around three to four coats of this. Uh, probably worth mentioning, I did put this in warm water um, before doing anything, just to make it a little bit more fluid. There's no shaker ball or anything in there, so you've just gotta sort of rely on your best guess as to whether it's mixed properly. Twenty-four hours later. Right, this is the outcome now when they're completely dry. As you can see, there is a bit of an orange peel to the paint, but it does need a flat down and also a polish. That's not something I'm going to do right now, simply because it's quite cheap paint and it does take a hell of a long time to fully dry and fully cure. So what we're going to do is wait about a week, uh, then polish it and uh, get it all sorted out. But these are going to go back on the car for now. And then we're going to take them back off in a week and get them all polished up. But yeah, that's the outcome. Let's take a look at them on the car. Okay, guys, so it's time to get these refitted. Of course, with a bit of video editing magic because I need two hands to do the clips. And there we have it. That is the completed fog light surround. As you can see, it matches the grill much, much better than the standards. It actually looks like both pieces were made at the same time rather than having a really outdated fog light surround next to the more modern honeycomb grill. Anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, join me on the next one. Here's a montage. <laughs>